Welcome to All Car Review Channel. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you. After driving the track conquering Chevrolet Camaro Z011LE earlier this year, you may think I would find the Camaro SS a bit of a letdown. The SS version of Chevy's four-seater coupe doesn't have a ridiculously powerful 650 horsepower supercharged engine or insane handling prowess, but on regular streets it's anything but a disappointment. In fact, it had just the right combination of power, handling, styling and creature comforts I'd want from a pony car for driving on normal roads. Powerful and agile, setting up shop under the hood of the SS is a 6.2-meter V8 producing an admirable 455 horsepower and 455 pound-feet of torque, made it to a six-speed manual transmission with an excellent automatic rev matching function. When I wanted to heel and tow it, I could deactivate rev matching with a pull of a steering wheel paddle. With superb throttle response and thrust throughout the rev range and an easy to modulate clutch pedal and fluid shifter, I found nothing to gripe about in the driveline. Considering the displacement and power, fuel economy isn't bad either, returning 16 mpg in the city and 25 mpg on the highway according to the EPA. Meaty 20-inch Goodyear Eagle F1 asymmetric 3-run flat tires help to get all the power down during launches. The wide rubber delivers a ton of grip, serving the Camaro well in corners, while the optional magnetic ride control suspension keeps the 3,700-pound car relatively flat in sport and track modes. Through bends, steering is weighty and fairly responsive to inputs, while the Brembo brakes with four piston front and rear calipers quickly slow the SS down, allowing for deep dives into braking zones. Again, it's not ZL11LE levels of agility, but more than I would ever need for bombing around back roads. For daily driving, which the majority of Camaro SS models leaving dealer lots will mostly do, toggling the car to the touring setting unlocks a surprisingly comfortable ride. Steering lightens up and the suspension offers more ride compliance, and even bigger bumps don't punish occupants badly, impressive considering the low-profile tires. I've been a fan of the 6th generation Camaro's sheet metal since its debut, but that doesn't mean it can't be improved. Case in point, the Redline Edition package that my tester is wearing adds a number of blacked-out features such as 20-inch aluminum wheel, mirrors, body emblems, decla decal and dark finished tail lamps. There's also a slathering of red accents, such as around the front fender decals, a design element from Chevrolet's motorsports history. Normally, I'm not a huge supporter of styling packages, but I can definitely get behind the redline treatment on the Camaro. The subtle changes do give the Chevy muscle car more visual attitude.